Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my quickie series, and this one really, really is a bit of a quickie. I've had a number of people ask me as to how they can turn a redstone signal, a solid, solid redstone signal, into a pulse. So off of, a, for example, a redstone block being moved in front of a piece of redstone, how do they turn that into a pulse rather than a continuous signal? And it's not as obvious as you might think. So I'm gonna show you now how you can do it. And it's actually dead, dead easy. So let's say, for example, you've got a fairly standard hopper clock and you wanna take a signal out of that hopper clock but you don't want it to stay on all the time. In fact, you want one move to be a single pulse, a short pulse of redstone. And you may even want to split it up so as it becomes two separated pulses of redstone, but you don't want it to stay on. A good example of this is when you want a dispenser to dispense a bucket of water or a bucket of lava, or you want it to repeatedly fire out a load of arrows or something like that. That's a really good example. So what you need to do is come along and on the redstone line that you're gonna have firing your redstone, put yourself a comparator. After the comparator, shove yourself a block, and then next to the redstone that's next to the redstone behind the comparator, shove yourself a repeater and stick it on four ticks. That will create a four tick delay, so 0 0.4 of a second delay before the redstone that hits the back here hits here. So there's a delay between the two of them. Then connect up the back of that and connect up that. What that's gonna create is just a, a looping circuit. So as this shoots into the side after this one gets there, like I said. So this part of the redstone will always be on. There is nothing stopping that redstone being on when this redstone block is here and then nothing stopping it being off when the redstone block is off. But under normal circumstances, that would mean the signal would continue, but not anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to split this signal out because we're going to do something a little bit clever with it now. And we're going to shove a number of repeaters along here. So that's going to delay the signal in this direction. And then we're not going to put any repeaters there at all. We're going to shove redstone line there. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have a delayed pulse. That pulse is going to travel out of this block in two directions. You could even travel in three directions if you wanted to. At this side, it's going to come straight out one tick later and go to the destination. This side it is going to go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 ticks later. That's 2.4 seconds ticks later. And into the back of, for example, this dispenser that's got a bucket of water in it. I'm going to just build a wall next to the dispenser so as it protects our redstone because when that water comes out it is going to flood all over the place so what we're going to do now is we're going to test this system i'm going to shove eight blocks of stone into here you can see the water is out eight blocks of stone into there that turns on the water dispenses and eventually it retracts so you can see it's dispensed and it has retracted and again dispensed and retracted so dead dead simple another use for this could be for defenses you can use a hopper clock to create an arrow cannon so i'm just going to put a couple of blocks into here so that's going to fire arrows out and it's actually firing at me. Oh my goodness, it's almost got me. But yeah, you could do that and that would work very, very nicely. You put impulses in there quite quickly. You can slow the pulses down if you want to by shoving another couple of blocks in there. There you go. And it slows it down really nicely. So lots of uses for this type of system. So there you go. It's actually very, very easy to get this all sorted and create a nice redstone pulse out of a continuous redstone signal. Of course, it doesn't have to be from a uh, redstone block. It could be from a redstone uh, torch or something like that. Whatever creates a redstone signal, you can turn a constant signal into a pulse. But do be careful that you don't get stuck by your own arrows because that's just embarrassing. Like that. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you've enjoyed them, and I'll keep on making these little quickies. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.